Okay, I got an extra little bag today full of some groceries headed out. Leaving Akabane today. So this will be my last time in Akabane. Every train station has a uh, statue or a couple statues and a big, like, I don't know what you'd call this area, but not a quad or anything, but, you know, I spent a lot of time in and out of Akabane and I just wanted to get a memory of it. I thought at the time this was going to be my last time in Akabane. I ended up actually being able to go back. This was March. Um, and I thought I was going to be leaving Japan semi-permanently, but I ended up circling back through there. I was very happy about that. But this was basically a day of me transitioning down to Yokohama and getting ready to leave the Tokyo area before um, leaving Japan. So it was, it was all filmed with that frame of mind in reference. Missed my ideal train, so I've got to get in there sorted out still sweating profusely a little concerning but it is what it is right it is what it is a few hours later i had my bags dropped at the hotel and i was over in yokohama for a little walk around i'm easily entertained even a little park bench you know will get me to stop or some pretty flowers uh I just like to walk around and enjoy the beautiful things in life. Got this really delicate peach colored flower. So pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Interesting plant. But it's a spectacular peach color. And that center is very. I'm getting a good focus. There we go. Yeah, the center is very cool when you start looking at it closely. Trees, flowers, benches, just another beautiful sidewalk. It's fabulous. Okay, this is a pretty spectacular place. That's uh, all those pastel buildings. It's like a little fun zone for kids. I uh, haven't been in there, but it's like a little play zone uh, you know, for kids, little kids. And down there at the end, I'll have a good zoom. Over here we have the sky trams. You can kind of see the two balls floating back and forth. And we've got the big wheel here. Boom, boom, boom. Chinatown is just over that way. It's pretty spectacular as far as Chinatowns go. I got this building here. A couple more pretty buildings. Yeah, there's some more pretty buildings over there. And then over here is the uh, Yokohama Station or uh, Stadium. They've got a pretty phenomenal baseball team they're very proud of. Um, and then there's that walking street. It's about two blocks that way, three blocks that way, or farther. But uh, I walked that walking street, I don't know, two months ago, a month ago. Um, just a really phenomenal little recreate, area to recreate and relax in. And the food here, you just like, pick whatever you want, you're going to find the best. Uh, whether it's steak or oysters or fish. Um, yeah, the food around here is just super you know uh, i was just rambling steak oysters fish you know i went to one place and the, the salmon was just legit perfect um and then the oysters are you know fabulous and you know it's all very reasonably priced um because of the exchange rate right now but it's funny to me nobody ever talks about yokohama online or here there or anywhere but you know you come out here and you're like you're checking this shit out and there's more stuff at the end of that thing i need to get over there and check it out personally uh I've gone by it on the train but i haven't gone out and walked this area so that's what i'm doing today unfortunately looks like it's gonna rain so uh, not quite sure how much i'm gonna get to go explore but 
kind of see the kitty rides down there now. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not really sure how much I might get to explore. This roller coaster looks like it would be fun. And the Ferris wheels. The Ferris wheels are always fun. I gotta start hitting these Ferris wheels. I, they're everywhere from you know Budapest to oh, just it's gonna say a name and then it blanked away. Um, well, Krakow has one, but there's that city at the top northeast corner, Gdansk. Gdansk? I think I'm saying that right. They have one right on the water. I really wanted to get up and check out when it was snowing, but uh, it was closed. But I thought it would be so beautiful up there with the uh, snow on the ground and the, the dark color of the river there in the dark sea. I thought it would have just been a fabulous contrast. But anyway, I'm gonna go walk around this area and see what I can find. Quick little ride on the Yokohama air cabin here for a thousand yen. get a souvenir. We are at the Yokohama Bazaar and there is a Starbucks right in front of me. That is what we want to see. Puppy dogs. Oh, it's a JR. That is, that is most excellent. Garden necklace. start to look too perfect you're like wait is that actually a plant or is that uh yeah, <laughs> greening expo 319 to 326 that starts tomorrow that's funny I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I think I'm going to pass on coffee. Ooh. We'll go check out that ship, and then uh, I think I'm going to head for the barn early. I want to repack and uh, organize some things. Had some bumps in my travel plans, so I need to iron those out. Got most of it done, but... More stairs, more and more stairs. This is the blue, blue, blue. Got a very iridescent bluey feel to it with the light. I don't know if that was wind or a jerk. I love these things, they make it feel like you're walking so fast. <laughs> cracks me up. More flowers, big rocks. 
Oh, and a big ship. Wow, look at that. Again, can you imagine like all these trees down here, they're all that half green, half pink. Can you imagine two weeks ago when I was in Okinawa? I was here right before it too. And it was 10 days late. I should have hit it. No, I'm not bitter. Not bitter at all. Check out this boat. Big, big boat. It looks like they do tickets. Let's go see what this is all about. Ticket sailing training ship. Yokohama Port Museum. Here's our pricing adults 800, 400 or 500. And then this talks about the constructed in 1930. thousand students 54 years retired in 85 little display That's a beautiful walkway along the water you can see the big buildings and it kind of looks like a drawbridge right Oh yeah, I forgot, <laughs> we're right below this big ass building. Right below the big ass building. Trying to see what makes it so pretty from so far. I got a little bit of time. I'm gonna walk over these pillars and then I'm gonna go get oysters, I think. I think it's lunchtime and I could use some oysters today. Just because I won't be back here for a long time. This number one dock looks like it uh, floats into place so they can get the ship in and out the waves from hammering the ship. I think that's just a uh, aesthetic. I don't think it does anything. I think it's kind of a throwback to England, the drawbridge type thing. I don't know. But I do spy some kayaks. So that leads me to believe you can rent those kayaks and go somewhere on those. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, see, this is a problem. I wanted to go do something else, and I just keep rabbit holing. But I just saw something out of the corner of my eye. We're gonna walk over there and get the uh, YouTube reveal. <laughs> but yeah, this is part of that uh, little kitty town from the other side. I was up there by that bus. And I was looking at this sitting area here, and you can't quite see it through the trees yet. So let me get up here and get through these trees without videotaping. So I wait for the light. This is that same thing about the ship. It's almost it's verbatim. But a little more clear, a little more steady. Okay, talk about rabbit holes getting bigger and bigger. I have no idea, like literally, holes getting bigger and bigger. So here's the Hard Rock Cafe Yokohama, and what I saw was this, stainless steel. I'm gonna go check that out, but now we've got a hole over here we need to go investigate. Like literally a hole. So, Steel is a thing here. After World War II, they became the steel masters. They were really the steel masters before. So we've got a Harry Potter store and then a Tiffany company. So yeah, that kind of says a lot. But check this out. This is insane. Just 
is crazy. And I'm cutting off everybody's head. So there's a quick shot of the whole thing. But yeah, that's really just mind blowing. And see, I, the kid in me, I want to go climb it, right? It looks like a big jungle gym, doesn't it? That's all I see when I see that is jungle gym. Let's go. So here's another view of this hole. Again, and that looks like a ship over there. So I don't know what's going on there, but let me go try and find out. Okay, we're taking a free ride in the elevator, going up, baby, up, up, up. Let's see if we can get a bigger perspective of what this is. Yeah, so I still have no idea what this is. But I see people down there, so we're going to go down. I'm on the fifth floor here. Hit B3, we'll see where that takes us. Maybe I can walk out into there? Maybe I see doors. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, it looks like I can walk out into there, but I need to go up on it. So let's go B2. Okay, so there's some restaurants in there. That is like a total afternoon party scene going on in there um and what i glean by the name of the bar is this is where they made ships so they keep saying dockyard dockyard yeah so look the big heroes are restaurant 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 um and this is all just a guess but holy smoke I'm not going to venture to guess how the foundation works, but that this is the shape of a ship. Comes right up and touches that building. Just crazy. Look at these big block windows. Yeah, this is nuts. Just nuts. That's glass. I see people on the other side of that. I haven't seen an information board, which is extremely rare here. So that looks like a do not go. Another do not go, but usually there's like too many information boards. Uh, it's interesting, this carve out's the same on both sides. You see, there's a carve out here. Camera's kind of what flattening it out, but there's a carve out there. Uh, and then over here, there's another one, same same exact place right there. I wonder if that had some significant relevance. Yeah, this is monstrous. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm going to wander in this side because this is the direction I want to go. Dockyard Garden Restaurant. So it looks like just a bunch of individual restaurants down here. Ice cold beer. And you just kind of, it's a ladies' room, men's room. Just kind of wander around. Prices are very, very reasonable. All very reasonable. I want to go 
back to my favorite restaurant one more time before I leave Japan. Okay, so here we go. For information, we're on B2. It's B1. It tells you all the restaurants. And we're at the bow of the ship right now. Restrooms at the stern. Elevator we found. And I guess there's stairs there and there. So I need to walk, walk, walk to get me some stairs. I'm gonna walk. Oh yeah, see, it's got a screen so you can see up. But pretty cool. Pretty cool. Parking Landmark Plaza. There's some more prices down here. Lunch sets, so steak and udon. Wow. That's a pretty good deal for temper and udon. That's a really good deal for lunch. Really, really good deal for lunch. It's so funny how a hole can lead you to such a, an amazing little place, right? Gotta love the styling, man. Make it beautiful. Just make it beautiful. I think that man, these prices are really good, really good. These are the different restaurants. So we have ones out there. World Beer Museum. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're back outside. Hard Rock signs right there. Super. Just super. Elevators, man. Just make them beautiful. No reason not to, right? Okay. takes you down to all the food and bars. How cool. I'm always stopping to look at flowers. These guys are tiny too. Look how small they are. See a little bit of pink in some of those. Oh, and by the way, yeah, I had no idea this is a hotel. <laughs> How crazy is that? So this big covered walkway with the escalators makes a lot more sense when it goes into the shopping areas and the hotel and takes you straight back to the train station. So all makes a little more sense. But it is nice because if you drop into the train station and you want to go over there to the hole and go eat and drink on B2, basement floor two, this makes it all very convenient. Go 
Yokohama's got a few statues. This one's a little obscure. But there's another little one. Check it out, this used to be the old bridge. These are all train bridges now. Check out these lights here. Isn't that so cool? Yeah, it's a great marker for what it used to be. It was just so cool. But I'm gonna go up these stairs and go find some food. Back at my oyster place. Give you a peek of the menu here. Uh, it's in Japanese. So. Okay, got the monster meal going today. So I started to eat breakfast and it went to shit. So I haven't had breakfast and uh, I'm starving. And I'm gonna have a snack for dinner tonight. So we are going big dog, got two oysters, big chunks of bacon there, green beans or asparagus, green salad, green salad, four oysters. The tartar is pretty good here, not, not phenomenal. And the rice is really good. I was supposed to get two bowls, but I only wanted one. Um, so yeah, I'm not waiting for you, I'm sorry. But, oh, thank you. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, perfect timing, got a glass of wine to uh, finish it off today. So, last meal for the, the weary traveler before I leave Tokyo area for a long, long time. Well, it's not the best weather, but I got some damn good food there, so pretty happy with it. Mm. Man. That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, I'm fat, dumb, and happy. I forgot the price on the oysters already, but it was expensive. But it was worth it. It was really worth it. I really love that place. And normally I get a cheap lunch. And normally I get lunch and I'm out for like 12, 1200 yen. Uh, but I wanted to go big today and I did. And I'm very happy and I'm full. Boy, am I full, but check this out. Check out that bad boy. We've got some new uh, cars out here, but that's the bad boy right there. And those, I don't know if those are Pelican cases, but they look like Pelican rifle cases on top. But definitely did that puppy up right. Looks legit. And then look at Starbucks. Everybody's happy with Starbucks. Oh, that's cool. They've got a car in the back all cut in half. Check that out. I'll have to go down. I'm, I may have to go down there. I want to get a closer look at this guy. Yeah, so check that out. That is just fabulous. Oh yeah, they did that right. That is done up perfect. The air on the side, everything. Everything. Those don't look like Pelicans. They look, there's that other brand that copied Pelican uh, or offshoot of it or whatever, but man, that is just super. E power. I wonder if it's electric. I hope it's not electric. I hope it's not electric. No, it's not electric. Okay. I was worried. Maybe it is. Oh yeah, maybe it is. It is electric. Oh, wait, displacement? It's both, I think. Got an engine, a front motor, and a rear motor. I have no idea. Okay, this is trick. 
This is so cool. And then what's really neat is they have this machine here. So you pick it up, you scan it, and then you hold it up. And it, as you pan around, it 3D gives you different options to touch the screen and learn more about, you know, like if you're back here, it gives you a couple options up there. It's driving up there, it's this or that, but just an amazing little place, man. Big place. But I gotta get, get moving, but I just wanted to come down and check this out since I was walking by so fast yeah see this is exactly what it looks like so you scan that and then it gives you these options the more you move it the more options you get this is a slick looking car check out the little miniatures uh, that's the bad boy there Oh, this is like the ultimate swag shop. Check out the gloves. The Z gloves. Z keychain, Z everything. Z shoes. Yeah, this is like the ultimate swag shop. Of course, they got some Yokohama baseball stuff. Keep everybody happy, but... Dotson. Wow, this is cool. That over down. Just around the corner. You see, why didn't Jeep have this? Jeep had all that nasty swag. This is like legit. Swag. This is so cool. See, that wallet looks really nice. I don't have a Nissan, but I like that wallet. I like that wallet a lot. I'm glad I'm leaving, otherwise I'd be tempted to come back and get it. Okay, I got a mess. Let's have one more look over here. Well, that's the first time I've been down there, and they got a couple supermodels down here uh, showing off the cars and excellent language skills and very, very well uh, educated on the products, to say the least. But. Yeah, they're straight up supermodels. Dressed, you know, not like the racetrack girls, but uh, you're dressed appropriately for work. Uh, but yeah, I was very stunned by the quality of service and interaction down there. Everybody's just on point trying to sell Nissan and They do a great job of it. You know, I've walked by here, you know, hundreds of times, or probably a hundred times. That's the first time I've dipped down there, first time I've had an interaction with anybody. And uh, I was approached a couple times politely, professionally, and with lots of knowledge and customer service. And there's the, uh, I didn't walk over there, but, and the little kitty play area, so cool. Well, I'm starting the last walk down the uh, path here. Let me turn around. Pretty epic entrance. Fell in love with the with it the first time I came here, and uh, kind of disappointed this will be the last time I walk in. And hopefully I make it before the rain. I just got one drop. Hopefully I'm gonna make it before the rain. I don't have my QR code or my uh, digital key, so I can't use the secret door. 
can't use the secret door. I can use the back door. Then I have to go navigate, navigate, navigate. There's like three or four ways into this hotel. It's actually really nice. Uh, but there's a secret door. There's a back door that takes you to the restaurant. Then you have to change elevators and go up to the thing. Uh, I may do that or just go in the front door and go up that way. So we'll see what I decide at the top of the stairs. The back door would be cool because I could just go right to the lounge. Yeah, she's going for the back door. They're going for the back door. I think. I think I'll come over here and go in the front door. See, that's the uh, front desk right there. So over there is where you drive up, and then this is the second floor. And Gives them a three count, push the button. You going to the... Well, definitely not a happy camper at the moment. I'm leaving Hilton, Yokohama for the last time for a long time. Just had my last coffee sitting right there. And Definitely gonna miss this place. Definitely gonna miss this place. But I'm gonna go across the water over there. I think I'm gonna grab oysters one more time. I've got uh, an hour and a half till my train comes. Okay, I've had this a half dozen times. It's like the perfect meal. A uh, couple of, or four fried oysters, salad, cabbage, rice, and homemade tartar sauce that is actually really good. Not the best, but it's really good. I'm going to chow and run for the train. Take care. If you come to Yokohama, I would say this is a must. If you like oysters, like good food, this is a must. Got to find this place. It's at the Bay Quarter, right off the train station. Great little lunch. Great dinner. Super. Just super. And the customer service there is top notch.